I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. First, and we're ready to get this game underway. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Iowa State's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you throw them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Up the middle for a nice game. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. First down. Makes it to the 47. That makes it second and two. Got an opening. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Tackle at the 43. Zips it to the back. And down he goes around the 38 yard line. Hankins on the tackle at the 38 yard line. That makes they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Fires that quickly incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. turn it over and they'll fail on fourth down this time the offense isn't successful on fourth down the defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go the quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game he's at midfield he's tackled at the 46 yard line what a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. From the 46-yard line, first down. The Hawkeyes, Lyman coming off the field with an injury. He's a tough character down there, and I would imagine he's going to be back in this ball game before it's over. Defense coming, and the ball comes out. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. the catch and the defense is all over him they bring him down for a loss they get a one yard loss on that one pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call third down now and they need to get it down to the 36 Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's taken down at the 22. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Brought down at the 20-yard line. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. That makes it second and eight. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. That makes it third and seven. So we're looking at another third down here. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. Iowa is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's good. Duncan has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 26. The Hawkeyes are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. It's second and seven. Ball on the 29-yard line. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Now he tries to buy some time. He's to the 40, and he's taken down right around the 46-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 3-0, Hawkeye. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. And this play is number eight on the drive. They come out in a five-wide set. Set! Red 18! There's a strike complete. He's down. That's 
seven yards. That and so it's another three. third down upcoming here. And they make the stop at about the 17-yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Makes it first and 10. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. It's second and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. He's out of bounds at about the 13. We're at the 12th play of the drive. The halfback with a carry. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. This one should be makeable. Iowa State is looking to tie things up. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second and five. Ball on the 30. Fights forward to about the 33. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll bring up 32. Three down, three down. Keep 15. Keep 15. Hey, check right 34. This is right 34. They hook up over the middle. Tackle at the 46. First and 10. Ball on the 46. He has some room. He makes his way to about the 42. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. It's first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Slings it. And down he goes at about the 19-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. is going to have to use their second time out of the half. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. He makes his way out to about the 12. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick throw. That's a great tackle at the eight-yard line. Mm -hmm. 
tenth play of the drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. Just throws this one away. Here we go. Third and goal from the three-yard line. Tighten up. Tighten up. Pull together. Go. This is four. Go. Number 42 was the intended receiver on that way. That brings us fourth and goal. Iowa could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Duncan has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Tackle at the 22-yard line. Yeah, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games that you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws it deep. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That makes it second and ten. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. 6-3, Hawkeye. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this game. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Iowa is up a field goal. Pitch out, and he is hit immediately. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it third and three. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Gain of two yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. Taylor to punt. Bumble! 
Scooped up by the defense. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. goes out of bounds at about the 29 yard line. That makes it Third down, 15 to go. Ball in the 29. Here we go. Cut. He's under some heat. It's on the ground. It's scooped up by the offense. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. Jones is back awaiting the punt. He's got the corner. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Iowa is up by three. Setting up play action. And a quick throw. Brought down. Right around the 48 yard line. From their own 48 yard line. Second down. Tackled at the 46 yard line. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds around the 48 yard line. That brings, that brings up fourth, fourth and three. three. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, it's first down. Catches it. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. That makes it second and two. Some open field. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. 
Ball on the 45-yard line. Set. Green and eight. Green. Check, check. Big dog. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 48. That's a team of seven on the way. That'll bring up second and three. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Watch the run. Here we go. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And they got him for a loss. That's not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Iowa holds a field goal lead. Looks middle, got his back. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Call it a loss of three yards on the way. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. Three down, three down. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. Iowa's got a three-point lead. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. middle to the tight end and he tackles him hard at the 28 nothing going on that play well here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket that way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it from their own 28 yard line third down throws a strike over the middle and he's tackled at the 45 yard line not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Nice run there. Goodson gets seven yards on the play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Iowa has a three-point lead. He's on the run. Makes it to the 31. again. He fights forward to about the 29. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. That makes it second and eight. From the 29-yard line. Second down. He's at the 20. And they make the stop at the 15. This is the eighth play of this drive.
Knocks out of bounds. Right around the 12 yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 12. and he's hit immediately in the backfield. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Just under two minutes in the game. Got it and brought down immediately. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Kicks up and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Hall's ability to make plays in this situation has got to be driving this defense crazy. Well, he's the difference maker in this situation. Imagine being the defensive coordinator and looking down at his play sheet. You know he's coming up with any defense he can to slow this running back down and not allow him to be in a position to win this game for this offense. quickly and he's got his man and down he goes at the 36 yard line throws and it's incomplete there's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires from their own 36 yard line it's second down Right around midfield. Gain of 14 on the play. First down. He's got it out to his tight end. Excellent open field tackle. Number 20 with the tackle at the 45 yard line. From the 45 yard line. Second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost them the possession. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Iowa State's called their final timeout. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. to about the 41-yard line. That's a deal of one. Fourth down. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 9-3, Iowa. 
As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.